Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my newest members, Christian Thomas. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are giving shout outs in my videos and you can easily become a member by clicking the join button. All right, let's get started. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus 2 to the power x equals x and we're supposed to evaluate f of 6 plus f of 11. So, one of the questions that we can ask here is, can we find f of x? That would be a really good question. Now, let's go ahead and do the following. You can go ahead and set x plus 2 to the power x equal to another variable. Let's just say y. Can we solve for x in terms of y? This is not going to be an easy task. I don't think there's any analytical way to solve for x in terms of y. So we're going to find f of 6 and f of 11 separately and then we're going to add them. So first of all to find f of 6, the value of f of 6, we're going to set x plus 2 to the power x equal to 6. Now at this point obviously you can just go ahead and guess what the x could be and if you set x equals 2 then you're totally right about it. But are we done? Is there any other x value for which this is true? then we're going to run into a problem because then f of 6 is going to have two different values and that is not going to be a function. So it should have a single solution. But how do we verify that? So let's go ahead and look at the inside of this f as another function. So let g of x equal x plus 2 to the power x. Now I'm going to go ahead and differentiate this function because I want to show you something. g of x, when you differentiate it, is going to be g prime. And the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 2x, 2 to the power x is 2 to the power x times ln 2. Now, 2 is greater than 1, so ln 2 is positive, 2 to the power x is always positive, so this is a positive quantity. What is that supposed to mean when the derivative of a function is always positive? It means g is always increasing. And I'll show you the graph at the end. So g is always uh, increasing, which means... Uh, it, it's only going to intersect the horizontal line y equals 6 at one point. And that happens to be x equals 2 in this case. So we're going to replace x with 2. And then let's go ahead and try to find f of 11. To find f of 11, we're going to set x plus 2 to the power x equal to 11, right? And then from here, we're going to guess our <laughs> solution again. And x equals 3. Is going to work and that's done because we know we don't have any other solutions all right great so this gave us two x values we're going to substitute them but here's another question is there any analytical way to solve for x plus 2 to the power x equals 11 for example right well there's something um which is called a product log so you, by using product log function and i think uh black pen red pen talks about it a lot so you can definitely check some of his videos. And uh, so we have a special function, a product log function. When you input x times e to the x, you're going to get x as a result. So you can kind of work through this and see how you can apply it to find the x value. When it's a variable, it's a different story, obviously. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. One more time, we have the function f of x plus 2 to the power x equals x. And by replacing x with 2, we're going to find f of 6 equals 2. By replacing x with 3 on both sides, we're going to find f of 11 equals 3. And then we're going to add these up to find f of 6 plus f of 11. And that's going to be 5. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.